Yo, 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 welcome to Madhouse Pro. I'm in the building. If you don't like it, you can get out because it's my building. Yo, so today we go get into something a little bit different. Um, settings, audio settings and routing. That's what we go do today. Uh, if y'all look, you can see me in the bottom right hand of your corner of your screen. And then in the upper right hand corner, you'll see two audio interfaces that I utilize. One is for my MIDI uh, and a backup when I need to go online, stream or do some other stuff. And the other one is the main horse, the Apollo Twin, the uh, Thunderbolt edition. So it's one of the first editions to come out. <clears throat> but what I want to do is get into this uh, video real quick. Tutorial, whatever you want to call it, how to connect to Sampler 2 Pro X. So you're going to need a few additional tools. Uh, let's get into it real quick. So you can see I got, uh, I'm going to close that. That's a project I'm working on. Uh, we'll just go through Cheer Beer, whatever that is. So, um, boo -boo -boo -boo. that's my little horn, y'all. Um, audio input channel has been reduced. Oh, that's the uh, my other stuff. Anyway, so that's some difference. Let me bring this over. Okay, first thing first, when you're setting up, you're using uh, obviously Windows computer. That's all that we have with uh. Um, with a sampler tool, it's not a Mac type joint yet. So, but um, let's get into it. Let's move around. We want to go to the sound source. The first thing you want to do that's the computer holds or host is all your sound. That's the host of your sound. Hostesses. Anyway, so if you can see right here on playback, you got to set your ins and your outs. Your playback is your uh, your input, even though it's going out. That's your playback. Your recording is your your recording is your input. Your output is your playback. I had it backwards, dyslexia. That's only with numbers, right? Anyway, so um, playback. That's what you want your sound to uh, play back out of. As you can see, I have, it set. I have it set as my speakers, Universal Audio Thunderbolt. So if you see my finger right there in your little screen, upper right-hand corner, this is my Thunderbolt Apollo Twin X. That's what I'm using, right? That's the only thing I want to output. If I want to change it to my uh, native instrument, uh, audio interface, then I can switch it to that, which is set up through my uh, U USB, which is a cable right up there. We're not going to get into that one right now. So, your recording, pay attention. This is your microphone. The microphone that I'm speaking on that you can't see. <laughs> so, I got several inputs. I could go input, which this is my complete, my native instruments uh, right there, the first three. This is from my camera that you're looking at me on. It has a microphone as well. I'm not using that one. Uh, another regular microphone. That's the black one on the back of the computer. I'm not using that one. And it's also an additional one. Then my line in microphone, which is on my complete audio right there. We're not using that one. Uh, let me see. I blow that up just a little bit. Okay. Um, and then you got the microphone, which is my Thunderbolt. It's also disabled. So I got all my stuff disabled. Why? Because the thing that's going to route everything is going to be my OBS. So let me open up OBS. Which, well, I'm on OBS. So let me show you how that works. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring OBS over to you guys. Woo! Don't get messed up. So y'all see me, right? Now in my settings, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go big screen on y'all. Don't pass out. So, ASIO input, right? These are my cameras, device two and device one. This is my ASIO, right? This is how you set this up. I got to set as, uh, my device to ASIO for all, which I could change to Thunderbolt. So, these are all your drivers that your computer system has that's been registered as a, a device, right? So, I'm going to go to Thunderbolt, right? Nothing's going to change because we're using... This one right here. Let me oh that camera, y'all. Wait, my bad, my bad. So y'all can see right here. This is what we're using. This is my Thunderbolt, my uh, Apollo Twin. So that's what the, this this device is set to. My format mono. You could go stereo 2.14, 4.1, whatever. We're going mono. One mic. I don't want it to go stereo, so we'll leave it at that. Now on my interface, which channel? So on the back of here. Oh my goodness. I got two mics. If y'all can see. This is the mic number one. This is mic two. Mic two goes up to my uh, my Presonus uh, 
other interface that for that I use for recording. But uh, so I'm using input one, right? If y'all could see right here, every time I talk, if I get real loud, <laughs> hey, the volume goes up and down. So that let me know that it's monitoring, it's working good. Um, uh, control panel, peep game. Universal audio, that's what's being utilized right there. This is, I think you can see it, I can't see it. Yeah, okay, so it's covering everything up, but this is what's being used, so I'm gonna close that. So I click okay, right? That's the settings for my OBS. As you can see, it's recording right now. We're five minutes in. Let me get this out your way. So that's step two. Uh, step three, uh, let's go up into, you hit the help right up here, and you go down to the start section, right? Okay, I'm going to, okay, we're in start section, right? Now, you want to set all these settings up correctly. So if you could see, there's a driver here. Your ASIO, FL Studio ASIO. That's when you download. You may need to download FL Studio, just the demo version to get that driver. But that's what's utilizing everything to work right now. That's the glue to this whole project. Uh, if you click on audio setup, if you see my driver system, it's set to FL Studio ASIO. Why? Because that's what makes it work. So if I was to take this right, and... Um, I was gonna go down to Thunderbolt. I'm gonna try to do this live as we go and we'll see how it work, right? So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click OK. Now guess what? You still got me, right? But let's go back to Clear Bear, whatever. And I'm gonna hit the play button. Uh, you hear it through the mic and that's about it. You see where it say? I'm gonna bring this over, I'm sorry. So as y'all can see, the ICO input, that's my microphone. That's what I got it set to. But my desktop audio, nothing. So if I was even click settings, right? Ah, oh, this is messing up. Uh, let me see. So if I was to click settings, go to audio. It's showing you 4.41 channel stereo. Desktop devices audio. I could switch it to uh, speakers, but we go leave it at default, right? Click OK. Nothing coming in from the desktop, right? So let me move this out your way. I'm gonna stop it, right? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna click Help again. Go down. Go down to my uh, Start selection. We're gonna change the driver for this whole thing. So it's still on ASIO uh, Universal Audio Thunderbolt. But guess what, y'all? You ain't getting no sound from the desktop. So that's why the routing that I did in the beginning was very important. So let's go back to audio setup. You click that. That's why I said FL Studio ASIO for some reason works. Here's why. Okay. Hit the control panel now that I'm on FL Studio. So this box pops up and it's going to show you default input, default output. As y'all can see, there's an error right here. Input couldn't be open. I did that on purpose so that my mic would read directly from my Apollo twin right here. My mic just reading directly, right? The system isn't trying to pick up the microphone that I set, which we're going to go into sound settings. I'm going to show you. Oh, my goodness. So that's why it's important to set it up on a computer as well. So when you go here, playback. Remember, my playback, the only thing that's playing back is these speakers right here. My recording, which is the microphone, I got everything disabled. You want everything disabled, so you want the only thing to control your microphone is OBS. This is the only thing that's controlling my mic right now. OBS, as I'm talking, you see it coming through. You can see it two places. Right here through my actual uh, audio, uh, my Apollo Twin, and then second, you can see it on the microphone that's being captured from OBS. Them the two little items that you need right there. So you know that it's working. So if I'm recording like I am now, you're getting my vocal. So now that I'm switched, let me move this out your way. I know it's a lot of strings, y'all. Click OK. Now that I didn't switch, switch it to FL Studio to ASIO driver, my default input is in. My default output, which is the speakers, I could click, but I'm gonna leave them as default, right? I'm letting Windows look for my system to get what they want to. The, input and output so we just changing the driver system right i'm gonna click okay 
if everything went well and it clicked over, we're going to close this window. So now when I hit the play button, I'm going to bring my OBS over. Uh, and you should still, okay, here we go. We're going to do a little screening. You want this desktop audio right here to move. So I'm going to uh, play with the window just a little bit. Put a little bit of weed on here. And let's hit the play button and let's see the difference. So now, guess what? You got the audio from, let me move this out your way. You got the audio coming in from the system with your Sample 2 Pro X. There you have it. So you got your audio, which is my mic. So my ASIO input is my mic. And you can control this. See, y'all just hear it coming through my microphone. I could hear it, but as I bring this up, get it in the system so my desktop audio was set and so is my uh, microphone input so this is a little bit of routing help and we're using the Apollo twin that is dope that's what we need is the Apollo twin so but to get everything to work and y'all keep in mind oh no are you sure you want to exit no <laughs> so I'm gonna move that out y'all way it's all about the driver you have set so as you can see the driver being set right here Axio FL Studio download the demo for FL Studio, but it's a great product. You may maybe purchase it later. I know I did, but I had it way before this. So here it is, y'all. Madhouse Pro Audio Routing and how to use it on OBS. Y'all have a safe day. Be blessed, and I'm out.